Hey everyone, Jared here. I know it's been a long time since we've been able to put up a video. We have been absolutely crazy these past two months. <clears throat> From all sorts of different activities, to sickness, to things going wrong with the house that we've been having to take care of. Um, we don't really have a lot of footage of, you know, certain projects or certain activities. Um, enough to really make a decent video other than just maybe a couple small shorts. So this video is going to be just pretty much everything that's been going on over the last couple months. We're going to mash it all together. There's not really going to be much of a flow. This is pretty much just entertainment value just to see, you know, what's really just kind of going on. So I know it's not going to have much of a flow. Sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoy it at least. Hey y'all, so this is our old couch. As you can see, it's worn out. Cushions are completely gone because of these thingies. Right here, I got one of those and then another. And the other day, I was driving while working and I found a couch, her love seat, that I thought, meh, looked pretty nice. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, yes, so this is the one. I was delivering mail and the one of the customers had a love seat out on the road. And I said, hey, you know what? That actually looks halfway decent. It did have a little worn out spot right here. It was a little worn right there on the seam and down on the bottom down there. And June went ahead and found some patch, uh, some patchwork patch kit. And she decided she wanted to do that. And she was completely open to us just picking it up off the side of the road. Yes, we did clean it. And yeah, it looks great. I'm thankful that she was willing to do that so we can get rid of this other really old nasty one. Sweet, free finds. All right, y'all. So I was in the process of tearing up these peas, and I stood up. I don't know if y'all can see them or her, whichever. Just looked right at me. Yeah, excuse me. Why are you? Oh, you want the light off? There we go. There we go. We can see it a little better. Well, I was going to tear all these off, but if you want to enjoy them, I'll, I'll let you. That's fine. You look like a mini iguana. You're super cute. What you got to say? We got figs, June? A bit, yeah. A bit. Yeah. Tree is gone massive for this year. Right. Home grown. Oh, it split open. There's a lot of moisture. Home grown watermelon. This is one of the several watermelons that we grew. Oh, look at that. It's pink. Oh, it's. Definitely Smells good. Kids, I tell you. Mm. Mm. The other one was Hey everyone, uh, we are going to the Baden Coffee Shop, Coffee House, whatever the name of it is, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, today it's Friday morning, unfortunately I got a positive test of COVID on Tuesday morning from the urgent care, so first couple days of it sucked, uh, now it's mostly just congestion in the head. Cough, that kind of thing. But trying to get out, get some fresh air. So we're gonna go grab some of that and then go up to Marl Mountain to get fresh air. Um, and try to get some fresh air every day. It's finally nice out. The high for today is 79. Right now it's about 63 or so. Um, so just trying to get some fresh air, feel good, that kind of thing. 
shooting the kids went inside since I am still contagious. Um, I don't want to go in there. Yeah. I'll expose my family, just not anybody else. But, yeah. Hopefully I'll be doing better so I can go back to work on Monday. Uh, which is Labor Day, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So, woohoo! We'll labor on Labor Day. <coughs> hey everyone, so this is what I'm talking about. The sun on my back, fresh air. It's Friday morning, we're at the top of the mountain. Uh, super duper quiet. The kids are about to go run the trail down there. But this here is part of my view. You can see for miles and miles and miles. The kids are about to go run the trail. It's about a half a mile, so it's not too long. But they got radios and stuff, they can handle it. But <clears throat> this is what I have been needing. Right here. And this is only just part of the view from the top of the mountain. If you go out over to the vista, it's even more beautiful. But that's what I'm needing. Sun on my back, fresh air, food. And this thing right here was the most beautiful, most perfect thing in the world. All right, y'all, so we just had a tornado warning come through. It's headed right for our house, supposedly from the radar, but it's really coming down out here. Now, lightning and thunder are going crazy. And yeah, we'll see what happens. baby cardinal that fell out of its nest and was stuck. Now it's free. Let's see if mommy and daddy is able to... Oh baby, it barely has any feathers. Ooh. Yeah, it's still super little. I was able to get the cardinal back into the woods. Mommy and Daddy lost their mind when I grabbed it, though. So. Yeah. Storm today blew it out of the tree. I know. Hey, everyone. Jared here. So, unfortunately, the time has finally come. Uh, for the past two, three years, we've been nursing the AC unit on the inside. Um, it finally gave out, and of course it has to be 90-something degrees on the week that it, it gives out. So right now in the house it's about 85, I think is what I pictured it at. I'll throw a picture up. Rizal's making noise, rolling in trash cans, but we just had to go spend a thousand bucks. We got two window units, one for a thousand square foot and then one for 150 square feet we're going to put in the bedroom. Um, but for the most part, that should be good. Next year, next uh, spring, we're probably going to get another two small ones and mount them in each of the kids' rooms. Um, since we're going into the fall and the winter, we're not too worried about having them in there. They can have the fans for now. Um, but going into next spring, it's we're probably going to get two more window units, the just cheap, easy ones uh, that are like 179 from Lowe's. And... Uh, then from there, hopefully we'll be able to get enough money saved up to actually replace the full full unit. Or we are considering doing mini splits. We're not 100% certain how we want to do that yet. Um, but yeah, so that's our journey. Uh, I'm going to start with the one in our bedroom because it's smaller and I'm not going to need June's help to install it. Um, plus, you know, start cooling it off a little bit in here, and then once it cools out, sun goes down tonight, her and I will install the one for the, um, bedroom. Those dogs are going crazy. <laughs> um, or for the living room. Uh, yeah. So we were thinking of putting it in the dining room. However, on the other side of the dining room, it is about five to six foot drop from the windows so I don't want to have to try and support it all the way that high I don't want to have to build like a deck or a platform for it 
um, like two by fours or four by fours or whatever. So this right here is actually where we're going to be putting this window here because it's only ground sturdy, but it's only about a foot off of the deck. Um, so you know I could easily. You know, I got several 4x4s. I can easily support it with 4x4s. And if it falls, it only falls from a foot instead of five feet, which obviously, you know, was expensive. So you <laughs> don't want to have to spend all that money to buy a new one. So yeah, come along with me as I get these done. I'm not really going to do any footage of me installing them. I might for the other one when June's here, but it's just Roselle and I and the dogs right now. And the dog is going crazy. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just going to go throw the one up in the bedroom real quick. It's super easy. Really not that hard. But I'll show you what it looks like afterward. Hey, puppy dogs. How you like it in here? So much cooler? Yeah? So that there. Excuse the huge mess I know. We got drone boxes and stuff in the way. But AC unit fit beautifully. Absolutely cooler in here. In the living room, it's probably 85, 86. In the bedroom, it's more like 72 73 so good stuff that works great all right y'all a lot of sweat a little bit of blood and it is in the bedroom unit is in you can tell it's going and going good it's all right i like it hey everyone so with getting this new window unit installed we realized a small problem regular outlets T-blade outlet or plug-in. So June is headed to Lowe's right now to get the plug-in adapter. Molly the Gargoyle. Grrr. 